Three years ago, a giant blue whale washed up on the shores of Prince Edward Island, and now, nearly a quarter of a century later, that massive mammal is making its way to a new home, thanks in part to a group of dedicated Victorians. A News reporter Louise Hartland joins us now live with more on that story. Louise. Hudson, it's the biggest blue whale skeleton ever to be constructed in Canada, and after years of hard work, it's finally on its way to its resting place. It may not look like much from the outside, but these two flatbed trucks are carrying some very precious cargo. Can't even tell you how we all feel right now. It's so exciting. We just, we've been dreaming about this day for a long time. Underneath all that plastic and protective wrap, the skeleton of the largest mammal ever known to live on Earth, the blue whale. Really, really exciting because there aren't very many blue whales left and, you know, to, to have a specimen of this size, you know, in our community is just really, really exciting. It's going to captivate people's imaginations for generations. Measuring 25 meters or the length of six cars, the dead whale washed up on the shores of Prince Edward Island back in 1987. It was buried for preservation and unearthed a couple of years ago before being taken apart and shipped to Victoria by train. Scientists and volunteers called this workshop home for the past year and a half, slowly piecing together over 500 bones to rebuild the whale. After thousands of hours of reconstruction, the mammoth mammal was split into five pieces and loaded onto two trucks to make its final journey to Vancouver today. The site made quite the scene at Schwartz Bay before being loaded onto a ferry bound for the mainland, even attracting some star attention. Oh, it's exciting. It's, <laughs> it's ginormous. It takes two trucks. Over the next month, the blue whale will be put back together at the Biodiversity Museum on the campus of UBC. It will be suspended from the ceiling of the atrium by stainless steel cables, a big undertaking. This skeleton is going to be the first large skeleton um, that's going to be mounted completely without any kind of external framework, so that's quite exciting. It's also going to be mounted in a very dynamic pose. Um, a final resting place after a cross-country journey, thanks to a dedicated team from Victoria. While the whale was being rebuilt, many people, including lots of Victoria school groups, had a chance to take a closer look at the project. If you want to check out the finished whale at UBC, a viewing schedule for the exhibit will be announced in about a month. For more information, go to the museum's website at bdmuseum.ubc.ca. All right, Louise Hartland reporting. Louise, thank you.